this is a tutorial video for a simple FEA analysis in CATIA. I just want to start off by saying that I am a beginner at using the FEA tool in CATIA. So if you are a student or what have you that may be looking for a beginning tutorial such as this in using FEA me and you may be a little bit on the same plane when it comes to that so first I'm gonna start off by using a shape or creating a shape in um, Katia's part file feature I um, in this case I use a simple I beam now, in making this video, I'm just going to assume that most of you would already know how to make a part file, so I'm not going to go through that. Once you have your geometry, before you can do any analysis, you have to assign a material to your geometry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to apply material I'm going to click on my geometry and I'm just gonna choose steel I'm gonna make this a steel light beam and once that's done and Katia has something to analyze I am going to go to start analysis and simulation and generative structural analysis this case I'm just gonna do a static analysis now this is Katia's FEA interface of course it's not very much different from any of its other interfaces but as you can see there are a lot of buttons a lot of things you can do with this um, you're pretty much within all of these you're telling it the situation of the geometry you're telling it what loading it's undergoing you're telling it um, if it's a cantilever beam or not at, you can even add fasteners to it but in this case I'm just gonna turn this into a simple cantilever beam so in order to do that I have to I have to tell it what end I want to be fixed so now how I can do that is I can go to clamp and I'm going to fix this end here just click on that face and it will clamp it for you now I'm going to go to this free end here and I'm going to apply a load so what I can do is click on distributed force and I was already doing something here so it already has some presets I'm going to place a 100 Newton force in the negative Z direction at the end here and so now I've created a situation for Katia to analyze what I can do now is I can start the analysis so I'm going to hit static case I'm going to open up this tree I'm going to open up the sensors tree and I'm going to right click on energy update sensor and um, it'll give you a warning because it needs to compute it and it says it may take some time but you don't need to hear that because this is a simple analysis it's just a cantilever beam one load so you can go ahead and click OK it's going to go through its computations and now I'm in a position where I can do well I can check on the analysis so in this toolbar here you have a few visualizations here I'm going to start off by looking at the displacement of the beam click on that and what you get 
is a vector field and this vector field tells you the magnitude and direction of the displacement of the beam at several points I'm not sure how many points this is but it's pretty dense um, and as you can see at the end of the beam where the load was applied you would have the most displacement which is correspond these are red so it corresponds to your figure here or your your range here pretty much that's the high end this is the low end of that range and um, I can also look at the stress analysis here and it will give me a bunch of isolines showing you the different stresses at certain areas on the beam and the next one is just a deformation um, mesh it shows you the general deformation of the beam I mean it already showed you the um, the direction of the displacement anyway the next thing you can do which is pretty neat is you can um, you can animate it so I'm gonna do that now and um, it'll actually put this into motion for you according to this load here I can also show the progression of stress using the animation too and there you go you have your line your iso lines getting progressively turning it from blue to red at certain points you can change the number of steps which would essentially make the animation more fine for the displacement vector field also increase the steps here so there you go with that another thing you can do is you can find the location of the um, maximum stress on this beam so I'm going to click on image extrema and it'll show you the what it thinks is the location of the max stress um, I'm not sure about that value but that's just what it, it gives you there and um, another thing that you, you may find yourself wanting to do is you may want to change the scale of the deformation and what I mean by that is here you see it looks like this beam is deforming a whole lot but I mean in reality this is a steel beam if it's deforming this much you have a problem <laughs> so what you can do here is you can um, click on amplification magnitude and it'll just scale it scale the um, any displacement or what have you for visual purposes some people like to really see really get a sense of the deformation that's um, being done on this beam or whatever geometry they have I have it set at about um, 78,000 by default which I think is a pretty good um, pretty good medium so um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a feature that allows you to set up it allows you to slice this beam up essentially into a 2d plane so you can see the stresses in 2d it's called the uh, cut plane analysis and uh, what you can do here is you can pretty much slide a cutting plane like it says up and down whatever station on the beam that you want I mean it, you can just 
change the orientation here, translate it, you know, rotate it a little bit, whatever you want to do, it can do it for you, just to give you an inside view of what's going on inside the beam. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another type of flow that you can apply to your geometry. What I did there is I just I put a force on the end. You can actually apply a moment to your geometry. So I'm just going to add a clockwise one newton meter moment about the x-axis and let's see what it does just gonna click on displacement and here you go you have your vector field again and it's showing you the twist of this beam due to this moment applied at that end that free end of this beam and as you can see not only does the magnitude change as you go towards the fixed end but the direction of these vectors does too which of course makes sense the further away you get the less stressed it is so let's also look at the stresses here and the deformation mesh you can actually see that it's a bit twisted I'm gonna run an animation just to show you the twist just a slight twist is not a very large moment but it's still there and you can see the displacements are quite small Let's go ahead and look at the um, stress. And there's there is where it says is your maximum. So this is just a basic um, FEA intro, if you know, so to speak. Like I said, I am a beginner. I'm not an expert at this in no way shape or form so I appreciate any comments that you may have any inbox messages anything that you might have I um, I do plan on making more of these in the future so if you would like to subscribe to my account you can do so and um, thank you for taking the time to look at this video. I hope you learned something.